1955. We came back to classes and got ready for exams. We studied, crammed, and hoped. We wished that we hadn't spent so many of our precious hours in the den. The den with its whining jukebox. Remember, hearts of stone sending 14 no's humming through the minds of students and faculty from 7 in the morning until 9.30 at night. Could we ever forget? Not to mention, of course, the mambo that year. Everything from Italiano to Jingle Bells had <laughs> the mambo beat. Well, it was January, and people noticed the absence of quite a few boys. The draft blew hard during the holidays. We missed them and wrote to them. We took those exams we studied and didn't study for. Most of us passed. Some of us didn't. At the end of January came registration. Lines and more lines. Cards, more lines. Money. Yes, more lines. Hours in the gym pulling cards till finally things settled down to normal again. As normal as can be expected on such a buzzing campus. The first of the year, sports-wise, was centered on basketball with Alvin Pache's inspired five, remember? General Bruce became a little more loved and understood that month. Some of us will remember a meeting in Roy Cullen Building that changed the views of quite a few of us. Thank you, General. 55, the year Bill Meek came to the university to coach the exploiters of the gridiron. Everybody wondered what was going to happen when September rolled around, and we waited with hopes very high. Thoughts began to turn to Frontier Fiesta. Some with doubt in mind as to the success. It would be our first venture into show business without the help of outside talent. Could we do it? Well, some said yes, others no. Changes marked the fiesta lot. The gate was moved to the center. New shows sprang up, new ideas, new talent from the campus came from hiding. And we had another edition of the greatest college show on earth. We will never forget, along with most of Houston, the flashing lights, the shiny costumes, the music. Most of it Dixieland, the dancing, the boys with beards, girls rehearsing, the whole clash and bam that makes our fiesta a million dollar production. Spring filled the air. Fiesta was over for another year. Again, the pressure of finals. Elections, politics ran high as always before. People you had never seen before began to speak to you and later became your coffee partner between classes. You and the rest of the students had elected a May Queen and she was presented with her court at the prom and, by the way, Ed Gerlach played at this one too. We liked Ed. We liked him a lot. His music meant a good time, whether we dressed in blue jeans or decked ourselves in white tie and tails. Pep rallies meant a little more to us and the team when Ed was there. His music has filled this record, bringing back the tiny details we each hold dear in our own mind. A certain song, the way he arranged it. All this, a vital part of 1954 and 55, at the University of Houston. All hail to thee, our Houston, University. We will close this book of memoirs as we close our games, our pep rallies, our years, and our graduation, our own alma mater. We'll all...